I want to talk to you about Deborah Brandt's theory of literacy sponsors. This theory provides a fascinating perspective on how literacy is acquired and developed in our lives. So let's dive right in. First things first, what are literacy sponsors? Well, according to Brandt, literacy sponsors are individuals, institutions, or even technologies that play a significant role in shaping our literacy practices. They are the people or entities that provide opportunities, support, and resources for us to engage with reading and writing, or speaking and listening. Now, it's important to note that literacy sponsors come in various forms. They can be formal, like teachers, schools, or libraries, which explicitly guide and support our literacy development. They can also be informal, like family members, friends, or even online communities, which influence our literacy practices in more subtle ways. So how do these literacy sponsors work? Imagine you're a student. Your school and teachers are obviously liter literacy sponsors. They provide you with books, assignments, and guidance on how to write and think critically. But it doesn't stop there. Your family, your friends, and the media you consume also contribute to your literacy journey. All of these sponsors collectively shape your understanding of reading and writing and speaking and listening. Now, it's important to remember that not all literacy sponsors have the same impact. Some sponsors might be positive, providing you with encouragement and resources to develop strong literacy skills. Others might be negative, imposing limitations or obstacles to your literacy development. Let's consider a few examples. Imagine a parent who reads to their child every night before bed. That parent is acting as a positive literacy sponsor, fostering a love for reading. On the other hand, if a student is discouraged from pursuing writing as a hobby, that could be a negative literacy sponsor stifling their potential. Let's look at some more examples. A positive literacy sponsor might be a positive family influence. Imagine a child who grows up in a home where both parents are avid readers. The parents regularly read books, newspapers, and magazines, and they encourage the, the child to read as well. They visit libraries and bookstores together, discuss stories, and provide a variety of reading materials. In this case, the family acts as a positive literacy sponsor by fostering a love for reading and providing a supportive environment for literacy development. Conversely, a negative literacy sponsor might be um, limiting teacher expectations. Consider a scenario where a student in high school expresses an interest in creative writing. However, the teacher consistently dismisses the writing as mediocre and discourages them from pursuing it further. This negative response from the teacher acts as a negative literacy sponsor, undermining the student's confidence and potential as a writer. The student might start doubting their writing abilities and lose interest in developing their creative skills. It's important to note that the impact of a literacy sponsor can vary from person to person and context to context. What might be positive for one individual could be negative for another. The key is to recognize the influences around us and how they shape our literacy development. What makes Brandt's theory fascinating is that literacy sponsors don't just influence us individually. They interact and intersect in complex ways. For instance, a teacher might assign you a book and your friends might discuss it with you. These interactions can shape your understanding of the text and influence your literacy practices. In a nutshell, Brandt's theory of literacy sponsors highlights the idea that our literacy development is influenced by a diverse range of, indi range of individuals and institutions. These sponsors contribute to our understanding of reading, writing, speaking, and listening, shaping our skills and perspectives in unique ways. So as you reflect on your own literacy journey, consider the various sponsors that have played a role in shaping who you are and also consider what role are you playing as a literacy sponsor in the lives of others?